Uh, hello everybody, Ian Robson, welcome back to another episode of County Line. Alright, today we're doing a couple things. Uh, we are just cultivating this field right here. And we are going to cultivate this field and then put some barley in because last season we did we had to get uh, we had to um, buy straw like every other day, which is unacceptable. Also, let's just did I actually buy that head? Owned. Let's just double check. I did not. Okay, that works out then. So let's go ahead and return this item right here. Yes. And then we're going to get another head that I just picked up. All right, so this is one of the... Uh, we want the 40-foot Draper header, 45-foot Draper header from Macadon. Psyche, what's up? Jonathan, what's up? We're going to give this a go. Uh, we want to... We could purchase it. Macdon with a little bit of a green, lighter green. Let's go for the darker green, maybe. No, it's not quite. I guess this is the closest one. We'll go with that. And uh, that's 95,700. Should we buy it or should we lease it? Hmm. Four thousand dollars initial cost per day is only a thousand dollars. Base cost. It's actually not that expensive. Could buy it though. Mm -hmm. well, let's go ahead and just buy it. What the heck? It's the biggest header. Anyways, so there we are. So the nice thing about that is the fact that it has tires on it. So this is the one of the ones that was from, I guess, FS17. It was around and it got converted uh, to 19. This is from Big Boss Modding, who did this, the Flex Draper Macdon. Strangely enough, we actually, at work, uh, we actually sell Macdon, which is kind of funny. Don't sell a lot of headers from Macdon, but we do sell them. It's quite the header. Yeah, it's pretty good. This guy's finishing up this field right here. This is excellent. I think our cows are satisfied, if I remember. Yeah, they're pretty good for now. And we need 150,000 liters of feed, which is fine. Uh, no, no, let's grab this guy here. There's a couple bales still kicking around. Ryan, what's up, buddy? How are you doing, sir? Keep him busy, from what I remember last time we talked. All right, let's go grab the bales that are in this field here. There's a couple kicking around still. And that also give our chance for our grass to grow a little bit more as well, without having trapes all over it. Uh, yeah. There are a few more here. Still working with your brother, Ryan? Coffee's so good. It's funny, I realized how much coffee I've been drinking and I realized I need to take it down a notch again. Basically, I'm drinking like more than half a pot of coffee myself. Like out of 12 cups, I should say. So probably I'm drinking like seven, maybe eight cups. <clears throat> Which is ridiculous, but... That's the reason why I slowed down in the first place, because I was getting up to that kind of, you know, a little bit too much coffee. But, you know, whatever. It's always interesting to see the way the body reacts to that type of stuff, so we're going to go ahead and grab this, and then we'll be done with bales for a couple, well, until the third quarter, or this other quarter, I guess it'd be the third, yeah, that sounds weird. Until the end of the summer, maybe some fall, maybe into the fall, because we don't quite need. Uh, we're actually good on. Uh, oh, you're dispatching for the sheriff's office. Oh, okay. It's a bit different. Still pretty cool though. I have a friend who uh, did something like that a long time ago. Uh, she it was for, for the fire department. I think she was what she was doing. 
if memory serves. It was a while ago now, but all right, make a turn. Grab these bills here, and that'll be the, these four, and another four on the other side. Matthew Oldfield, hi, how are you today? I'm doing very well. You yourself, sir? Yeah, yes, it is, but love it. Probably hear a couple stories or two, I would imagine at least. All right, there's that one. And it's funny, I can't hear the music at all. All right, let's go around here. I'm sure it'll be the song though. It'll come, a different song will come on, and I'll be able to hear it like way too loud. Okay. Like so. What I should do, actually, I keep forgetting to do that, but I say I should take a little trip around. Uh, oh, I finally got rid of the uh, the dead zone. I was playing the other day. I was playing the other day, and uh, uh, just a solo play, and I was like, I should really fix that. So I finally, finally fixed the dead zone. I got a few John Deere's kicking around. I just like this. This is a, just a nice fence, so I like this one. But I got uh, this John Deere combine. I guess that's really it right now. I could replace this with something else, I suppose. The other one I was thinking of, well, the one I would like to get at some point is the... Which one? There's a couple in there that I would like. We want tractors, large tractors. We'll be right at the end here. So I picked up some Steigers as well. I do like the Steigers. I'm still have, I'm surprised I still haven't seen a 9560RX, the uh, track version from Deer, in on the Mod Hub at least. But there is this one, 8RT. There should be a 9RT in here somewhere too. There it is. There's this guy right here. Configuration, 2200 kilogram front weight. That's a lot. 30 inch tracks, 36 inch tracks, 30, 36 inch tracks, standard tracks wide with weights, standard tracks design, US version, flow positioning, yes, engine start configuration, 628, 600, is that enough for that? I'm trying to think now. Is that enough for the, uh, um, I don't think it is actually. That cedar. 600 and. Four. It's close. Because what does that one. What did that one have? Oops. No. What did that one have? <clears throat> 8RT. There it is. What was the horsepower on it? Yeah, it's still underpowered for that thing. <laughs> Custom modding, I believe, has one. Has a 95RX. Ooh, Contractor 25 is finished. Excellent. I'll take that. We can just stop you. Don't need to waste our money. You don't get any extra money from it. That's how I roll, at least. Uh, that was field 25. How close were you to field 23? Fairly close. Oh, field 17? Okay, where's that? Let's do 23 then. Trying to mix it up a little bit, I guess, Louie. Can't have it all, dear. Although this sprayer is working a lot better than the uh, Hardy sprayer. At least in terms with, in conjunction with course play, I'll say. But, uh... <laughs> That's funny, that doesn't do anything, but it's there. Alright, we are going to field 23, which is right over here. So what I should do is... This is the cow farm right here. Still, I don't know what's a... I don't know why they've done it that way. 
I just made my own cow farm in the main <laughs> in the main area. But I uh, I don't think I have a connection system in here. No, I do not. LOL, right. Red better. Mm. They're all good in their own way. I'll just say that. Every brand has pluses and minuses, but in the end, as long as the tractor works for you, that's going to be your main, your main concern. Okay, so let's turn the edit mode on. Let's just connect this up to the main road, wherever that may be. I believe there's some connection up here somewhere. Forty-two Marika, Marisa, I guess it was. Hello and Colormi, what's up? All right. Oh, sweet! Look at that. Let's connect that up to there. Let's do one more here. And let's do next, 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 next. Connect that up to there. And quit recording. Whoa, truck. <laughs> oh my goodness. This came out of nowhere and just smucked me. All right, let's come back here. And, no, nope, let me go back a little bit one more. There we go. And then we'll can record from there. And then we'll connect this one up down here. And uh, we want to go, nope. Uh, yeah, I guess that's the one we want to connect. Stop recording there. And that means we can go from there to there. And then if we want to go back, we can set it up that way too. I don't think, uh, do we even have that one on here? No, oh, I do. So I have it set up just at the top of there. You get run into that, aren't you? Of course you are. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> there we go. It's funny, sometimes the cars stop like completely and other times they don't stop at all. It's ridiculous. Okay, uh, there's one more bale down there. Let's grab that one bale. And that'll be the last one. That'll be 19 bales on this load. So not quite a full load. Close, but no cigar. All right, time for some coffee. And I think that's it. Um, so that 450 is done. This is excellent. Good, very good. And let's drop these bales in the shed over there. Too many bales, I can tell you already. Maybe I'll just sell them because we have a bunch already. Yeah. So how many do we have over there? We have 24. 48, yeah, that's quite a bit. Probably not gonna be a big issue. Oh, you know, it's better to have more than less. All right. Let's drop this in here. Oh, didn't like that. that mirror is so bad. I can't tell. I think I'm actually hitting the wall. Well, no. Could have been a lot worse, I suppose. 
There we go. Can you do another John Deere cab tour? I can, I actually was meaning to do. We have a 619, 6195 at work I should do a, a look around of. I've never, I don't know much about that one. What's happening there? Oh, there, I guess that's okay, I guess. All right. Let that finish up. Put that over here. Here we go. And let's grab the cedar. So now I can grab that and put some barley in, I think. I, ooh, I didn't, don't think that one can even do barley now that I think about it. I think that's only for corn. Yes. Uh, yeah, it is only for corn because we planted a corn with it. So I believe it is not super helpful for us. Uh, well, we'll find out nonetheless. Corn, sunflowers, soybeans, sugar beets, cotton, and corn. Yeah. Not super helpful. All right, let's grab another cedar then. Well, let's rent another cedar, I should say. I think we will look at... I guess we don't need this tractor at all then. I guess we could go to a smaller cedar and use it. That is definitely an option. finished. Let's clean up these corners here. What kind of steering wheel do you use? I have, or I still have a G27. Can you play City Skylines again? I can do that too. I have to, sp I have to space these things out because if I get into those kind of, often when I get into those types of games I go into like a, a stint and I just play them way too much. See, so actually, not so much City of the Skylines. It tends to be more uh, like Factorio is a bad is a good example, or Railway Empire. All right. I don't know why. Well, I guess it's close. I might as well do it. Okay, we'll drop this down. And get this little corner here. This was all sugar beets, so it really, really wasn't helpful for us. Because we would have to, we would have had to have rent it and we wouldn't have gotten any straw which would have made it even worse all right let's take this back to our main farm here <clears throat> it's funny even though i'm pretty sure i could put on auto drive on this i think the problem would be is it's just a bit wide <laughs> for most areas so unless you have a uh, a careful auto drive helper, which is never the case. Let's go back here. You gotta run these things. Okay, so bring this back to the main farm.
even yeah even going down this main lane right here like look at this I would have to make all this uh, like a two I think this one's a two-way right now but it would all have to be two-way all right let's leave that there for the time being and grab a cedar something that does what kind of fertilization level are we at here field 10 that looks like two let's get to this guy right here because he has arrived okay uh, we want to this course generation field 23 Headlands, we want to do two. We can start with the headland passes. It really doesn't make a difference. Up and down. Good, good, good. Generate the course. How are you doing today, Mr. Robson? I'm doing well, Mr. Farming. Perfect. Save this as F2333 meters. waypoint which is right there <laughs> we'll see how well it does okay that's that back to the cedar scenario so we have a corn cedar it isn't really helpful for us right at the exact instant now this is in a giant field uh, what is that is 18 this one's 15 hmm that one's 12 14 15 18 and then 25 that's such a huge jump too Oh, let me just check to make sure I don't have anything already leased. Uh, that one doesn't do what we're looking for. Owned items. Don't own any many things, so. Okay. Let's do something big, but not. I don't think we need to go quite so big as the Vader stat stuff. Uh, let's do this one, because I just like the way it works. Okay. Okay. Actually, we should check that. Ooh, it's going to be a late plant then, eh? Darn. We have to buy our straw again. Because it will it be ready in time if I plant wheat? I could do. S oh, shoot. I might as well plant soybeans then in there. If that's not going to mature in time. Which. According to our little graph here, it does not seem to be. Shoot! Guess we're buying straw again. Alright, let's grab that cedar. That's a pain. Alright. Grab the cedar. I guess we're going to put soybeans in there. It's not what I wanted to do, but I just don't. You know, based on that schedule, it looks as if they won't mature in time, which is not really what I'm looking for. I've already experienced one, one late, uh, one late harvest, or one. I guess it wasn't. It was on time, but I just couldn't harvest it in time because it was wet. So that was our dilemma. Okay, let's grab this. And 
this is a gigantic tractor for a small seater. All right, so field 10. If we go this way, it'll be field 10 over here. Okay, fertilizer and seeding. This is what, 12 meters? Um, let's see here, field 10, 18 meters, sorry, headlands, let's do three headland passes, and let's do up and downs first, and we want to skip one row, generate the field cores. Good. Start at the, oops, first waypoint, we'll call this, I don't know, F10, 18 meter. There we go, and we want to plant soybeans because they'll apparently be happy around this time. Where's the starting point here? Way down there, oh, okay. Whatever, whatever it wants to do, just let it roll. Okay, so here we have this corn. And blisters, we're looking okay there. We're gonna get another level of fertilization over there, which is good. Our cows are doing okay, do they need any milk? Or do you need milk? Hay and silage, that's okay. Grass, that's okay. Excellent. 13% done there. Good. Okay. So, let's take a look at what we got here. So, did I add any other buildings that I want to include? Horse. I think there was a chicken one I wanted to look at, but I think that one requires the global. Place to keep your cattle. Pig barn. Never been a big fan. I don't mind it, but never been a huge fan of pigs. Sheep barn. 30,000. Hmm. Chicken house. Horse stable. Rajan, how's it going? Uh, that's just a standard one. Horse paddocks. Sheepfold. This sheepfold can accommodate 250 sheep. <laughs> okay. That's a crazy amount. What does that even look like? I don't have the money for that anyways. Cow barn big. So we went for the cow barn modern, which can handle 200 cows, apparently. Cow pasture, which you can hold 50, but it's a feedlot style. Details. Well, it's actually not that big. Let's see if we can uh, zoom out here a little bit. Hmm. Don't know much about the feedlots. Change placement. Left control H. Not doing anything there. Hmm. We got lots of room. We could easily do it here. Have a feedlot and, but I, I, I suspect left control and Q. Do you need to tap it? Maybe because I have place anywhere mod on. That's why it's like, you don't need to do any of this. It's probably what it is.
pig barn, old pig barn, modern, sheep barn, chicken house, small. That can hold 50, 50 chickens. And 80 sheep in the sheep barn. Oh, that's actually, that's quite small too. It's a lot smaller than that horse stable. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That must be gigantic then, if I can hold 250 sheep. Cow barn. Pig barn. It's an old style pig barn. Hmm, I just don't know if it's even worth doing. The chicken house is kind of small. They don't require too much. You pick up the eggs. Blech. That's always fun. A horse stable. I mean, horses are profitable, but I just don't like riding them every day. I'll be uh, completely honest with you, because they require what? And water. Because if you were to... Hmm. I don't know. I haven't messed around with the that side of it. Was the oh, we'll just close the gate. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, animal loading. Here we are. Activate the ramp. Open the animal dialog. Not so much they're worth. Oh, these are the small ones. No, those aren't. So we bought these ones are Irish Irish for 1100 so they're actually losing value. Whereas here, Holsteins, I guess we could buy some Holsteins to get better milk production. Let's see, the, oh this is the carcass breed as they described. Limousine, is an expensive but feed efficient animal, meaning it will grow quickly and give great price at the market. Versus Irishires, which is a dairy cow, I guess. Low feed consumption and price per herd are both well worth the trade-offs of lower milk production. The sailor is a cheaper option for starting farmers who are known for high marbling carcasses. Holsteins, which are of course for milk, the queen of milk production, requires a lot of feed and expensive to buy up front. I don't like these cows. <laughs> That's why I don't buy them. <laughs> you just don't see these cows around here very often. So I'm like, eh. Man, maybe we'll try a feedlot too. What the heck? It's not that expensive. I mean, we have everything here already, so I might as well use it. But first, I think what we'll do is let's do a little bit of... Uh, let's do a little bit of leveling out here. Uh, we want to sculpt and if we could how much money is that taking from my account? <laughs> A lot. Because I'm raising up the land so much. Goodness gracious. Just want a nice flat level platform. Is that too much to ask? Apparently. <laughs> that costs way more money than I thought I was going to. Yeah, a lot more. Okay, let's go ahead and... Uh, well, let's, I don't think we can actually, oh, you totally can, that's hilarious. Whoops. As if you can even do that. Oh, there it goes, just pops up. Put in soybeans. A 
Manitou. Well, you made it. Self-writing even. That's fantastic. All right, let's grab this guy here. Probably should have smoothed this edge off a little bit rather than making a drop like this. Bonk. I'm still surprised you can even do that at all. All right. I want to grab this right here and zoom in here and grab no no I uh, don't want the tractors no they're kind of tucked away uh, that no I think we're okay there this is what we really need on the blade this one right here. There we go. I think that's everything. I believe that gets rid of the. Oh no, it doesn't. I thought I got rid of the feed that's in there. It's quite a drop off. I thought it was going to be a bit, a bit nicer, but apparently not. No gloss, not yet. <laughs> I guess that does come up soon. What is that today? Tomorrow? Uh, let's go to DLC. So the 22nd or something, Colossus DLC, where are we here? Homer, Platinum Edition. The 22nd. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> Sup, yo. Let's up yo yourself. Okay, let's... You do something about this ridiculous edge. Uh, let's do this. Uh, let's just even that out there. That's not too bad. I don't know if that's going to stay there, if that's going to... I don't know how it's going to work here. Uh, we can do that. And let's change the style to, I think it's tab. Is it tab? No, it's not tab. What the heck is that button? Uh, we want to change the shape. Uh, C. Good. Good. Okay, now let's go ahead and get some smoothing action going on here. Uh, let's reduce this to something. Let's do that. That's like a hard edge now. <laughs> okay. Let's, I need to get at these now. Oh goodness. there. That's not too bad, I guess. That's at least doable. There. Leave it like that, I think, for the time being. He's only half in there. I don't even know why you're able to do that though. Maybe because I had the place anywhere mod on here. Morning, enjoying this lovely Canadian frosty day. So far so good, yeah. So far so good. All right, let's look, take a look at that feed lot now again. Just blew a bunch of money on that. 
Where is that feedlot? Uh, gonna need to get around the edges here, aren't we? That's the feed on the other side there. Hmm. Because you have. it too difficult to access though. I mean, you could do something like this. At least they're close to each other. Sure. Let's see if that works out. I've never seen the feedlot, even though I've had it for ages now. Oh, that's the uh, manure slurry. This looks like it is for water. Why is there a milker there if this is a feedlot? <laughs> that makes no sense. All right, let's put some limousines in here. Is there a... Uh, they're cheap sailors. They're not that much cheaper. Hmm. He's planting, not quite finished yet. He's doing his thing still. How far along is he on that contract? Halfway, so. Hopefully we'll make some money off that. <laughs> yeah, landscaping can be fun sometimes if it does what you want it to do, but then if you don't, doesn't do what you want it to do, then it's a pain in the arse. Okay. This doesn't look like it's that bad. Is there mods for more breeds of cows, or is that it? Uh, that is, uh, there might be some more options, but for the, uh, for the uh, Seasons mod, as far as I know, that's it. I might have to move that water tower, because it's, it's not gonna be easy to get to it. <laughs> Let's just say that. So maybe what we'll do is we will go to the garage and we will sell this water tower, make it a bit more, uh, a better position. <sighs> Where's a better position? Maybe up here somewhere. And maybe we won't choose a water tower this time because, so water station for five, some street lights. The all-in-one station. We are looking for. So that's the one. It's only a thousand bucks. Fuel station. Didn't I see another one in here somewhere? Must be an animal pens I'm thinking of. Water pump, five thousand dollars. Holy Toledo! Look how small it is too. Does it 
automatically feed the cows water like that would be you know ideal there is actually a function you can get that but this one doesn't do it I could put it right there and just fill and drop off right there I suppose and it's out of the way it's just so small Take a look at that. What's the point of that? Uh, let's find out. Let's grab our truck here. If it costs us to fill up water there, that's going to be really annoying. Actually, you know what? Let's not use this. Let's use the little tiny trailer over there. gigantic tractor yeah that would really suck if it cost us we got water in here already okay let's see what's up I guess I don't need anything yet. Let's put Oh, it does come up with the second one. Okay, that's cool then, I guess. Stop overloading. That definitely doesn't make sense then. I figured out what that mod's supposed to do. Maybe it's supposed to automatically fill your water, your cows with water. Might be the case actually. I mean, if that's the case, then it's totally worth it, five thousand dollars. But don't know if that's actually the case or not. Hmm. pick up it's funny we have two cows and it shows two cows so at least that's accurate give them a little bit of straw get some TMR I believe it would be this side if yeah well that makes sense in the feedlot style. You only need a little tiny bit. Of course, whatever's auto drive. What do you prefer? What's easier to learn? Uh, oh, easy and gee, Louise. Uh, they, I don't know. They serve different purposes in my mind. I think uh, that mod keeps your cows from running out of water. It will not fill completely. Yeah, I'm just trying to remember. Oh, I need to fix those ledges. Yuck. I really don't remember what the, what it does. Uh, so they're okay. 
Okay, good. All the cows are taken care of for the time being. This is good. That ledge is deadly, though. Yeah, I don't know. I have to. I can't remember which one, what that one does. Obviously, I, don't, I can't fill from it, so I don't know if it's just a. Which gave me some more information, but it looks like it just has a little bit there. Got a bit of a bit of a pile up of manure here now. It looks like. What do we have? How much do we have there? One hundred fifty thousand liters of manure. So. Not too bad at all. We'll see. And can we pull from both of those? Cow barn, cow farm. Oh, so I can. There you go. From for both, in fact. Which is fantastic. Cool. Very cool. How far along is he? He's done. Yep, up and down. He's got one, two, three, and then the headland. So he's not doing too badly, I guess. Slow and steady wins the race, I suppose. Good, 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 good. So let's grab our tractor over here. Because we don't actually even have anything in our store. We'll give a little bit of wheat. It's not really worth selling. Noob. Cattle feed. Slurry. Could sell some manure. Yeah, I don't know. Let's put a couple of these things away. Is there really that big of a jump there? Apparently there is. Gonna have to smooth that out. Big time. Alright, let's grab our baler, put that away for the time being, get it out of the way. Apparently there's a little bit of hay in it still. I don't really need more silage bales. Not as of yet, at least. Pull this up here. Do a little bit of Maintenance. Good. Intellirap. I've actually seen one of... Was it this one? No, it wasn't this one. There we go. And then put that in building right beside us here. In the join the game? Of course. Of course. Always enjoy this game. Always lots to do. Whoops. Always lots to do. Here we go. What's that? Let's grab the rake, put that away as well. What are our new Holland to get off to? It's funny, there's actually some like fermenting silos I've seen now too, which is super cool. But again, you need the global global company mod again. It's a bit of a pain, but you whatever. If only it were that easy to wash this off things off in real life. Good. Let's put this away in here as well. So, all right. X 
Excellent. And let's grab this reek. Actually, it's fairly clean already, strangely enough. And let's put this away in here too. We will put it off to the right in that barn there. Like so. Let's straighten around here a little bit. Good. That's that. We'll just park this in here for the time being. Let's grab this truck right here and let's pick up that trailer let's drop off our water slash milk trailer there and then we'll grab the our Wilson trailer over here Get that out of the way. Good. Move this out of the way. The truck gets so dirty. over here out of the way for the time being actually we can actually put it in that barn right there oh can we actually get chickens for that or is that just there for show to uh, the last little passes there, which is excellent. <laughs> we have this giant area right here we just haven't touched yet, for storage at least. And we have that barn in fact too. Are there lights in here? Oh, there are down over here, good. put it in here then because the other spot over there is for is for our seeds so let's put this guy over here <clears throat> like so good 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 all right what's the progress looking like now 64%. Oh, we're getting there. Slowly but surely, and as you can see, he's going to do a couple headland passes, then he'll be done. So maybe we'll be done close to the same time. So let's take a little note right here. And. So this goes out into the road here. Up here. And so we're just checking auto drive right now. 15, 17, maybe what we'll do is we'll do this here. Uh, record. Have a little stop over here. We'll call this uh, F15 slash 17.
continue recording and we'll connect it up with let me go back a little bit here there we go black area there stop recording good so now if we need to we can get to that little section there it might do a little there's some ridiculousness but at least it can get there if it needs to at least okay up here do we have a 16 15 17 and then we'll do a 16 over here then uh, like so it's a bit of a dip geez uh, that's F sixteen, and then connect that up with that guy over there. Good. Okay, the reason why I'm just doing this right now is because uh, if I want to stop at one particular location with, let's say, my sprayer, because I want to do like a mission on that field, um, having a, a waypoint I can just let it go to is really nice. Okay, so I think I have some... I do have some going that way, good. I think it just goes the one way though. Right now at least. Okay, let's come back here and put it straight away through here. Not, well, it might make a difference someday. There we go, go. Connect this up over here. And we want to connect it with that right there. Good. All right. Let's continue along here. This is, I think I had one for 26 in here, I want to say, or 25 maybe. I don't know. I can't remember. I think I did one for both both sides. Yeah, there it is. Just have 24. I must have done 26 then. 33. 9 and 33. 23, 26. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Don't do that. That's a bad one. Let's go back a bit further and come make it a bit of a straighter line at least. Kind of. There we go. I'm go a little bit further here. There we go. Connect it up with that one out there. Good. And then what we'll do is come up here. I think this is right to the end where it goes to 25, if memory serves. I can't remember if I looped back around. I think I started to and just stopped. If I had to remember at least. Yeah, that's what I did. 25 here because that goes nowhere you keep and then down goes well kind of goes somewhere actually so we could head to the southern half
So let's go from this waypoint right here. Let's see if we can get that one hooked up there. There we go. And then head south down here. Because I don't think I have a 20. Oh no, I definitely have a 24 and a 25. Don't have a 14 though, so let's go ahead and add that to our route. So, if you've never made a hard drive course, this is kind of how you do it. For those that are wondering what the heck I'm doing right now. Basically, I'm just kind of going along, along making a network. Alright. And what field is that coming up there? Nothing. Okay. But that field right there is field 14. Uh, let's just drive right past it for the time being, I guess. At least on this side. And then. If I go back up, that'll connect back up with that route up there. If I go down, goes to 32, the biogas plant. So maybe we'll do is this. Cord button's gonna connect to that one. Fine, be that way. All right, record. We'll go up here first, I guess. Basically, do, by doing this, you kind of make a, a network, and then you can get around to areas if you need to. Whoa, 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 whoa. Apparently, this has already been made. Part of it, at least. Lee car, come on. This is a main road as well. Jeez. Get that, 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 and that. There we go. Let's get back on the road. And then connect up with this one here. And then connect up with that one. Like so. Whoa, whoa. What is with cars just smucking into the back of me right now? This this vehicle must have like no detection at all. Oh goodness, where am I switch to trains? Is it this one I'm thinking of? Traffic off there. Delete, 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 delete. There we go. This has all been made up here, so if I come up here, I should be able to swing down and do it this way. I would suspect at least. 
Did I connect it up? I think I did. Yep, yeah, there we go. So let's come down, down to this. this way like this truck moves pretty quickly so make doing this is kind of easy to do the only difficult part is you know making sure you're controlling your speed basically <laughs> and not losing control I guess is what I'm trying to say good straight down I guess it's funny in reality you can just stay on one side of the road the whole way yeah, let's take that off there we go you can stay on one side of the road the whole way and then what you can do is uh, just stay on one side and then do all the other side and add things when you want them <laughs> means you have to go back but you know it's not the end of the world. Field 32, what's this down here? RR Horse Ranch? I don't know why I want to go to the Horse Ranch. And that doesn't go anywhere. So let's go right, I guess. And then what we can do here is make it into a two way road here. We only have to do this section once. We'll call this one. I don't know. Let's go for F12. To continue along here. The nice thing is you can go two ways along here, so you can come from the other side too. Yes. That's good. Goes down to the bottom of field seven here. Uh, F seven. That's that. And don't go up there. Keep heading this way, then hit the main road. And then switch to one way again. That is for your sheep selling point, I believe it is. Well, that's the actual sheep bar, never mind. Oh, well, that's why I'm seeing read comments. How's my morning going? Pretty good so far. Pretty good. Did a little bit of fishing yesterday. Went to a very clear lake. Never fished it before. So it was very interesting to see what it's like. So waiting for it to warm up a little bit, and I'll probably go there again today. That's the plan, at least. Go there today again, and hopefully catch some fish. Yesterday I didn't catch some fish, but I did experience, get, did get a chance to see what the place was like, which was very cool. So, field eight. So go up here. Small little lake too. Very very small. And we're gonna go right here. Actually, what? That's for sugar beets up there, isn't it? Crystal sugar. Let's go to crystal sugar first. Mm, 
chopping some silage today in Nova Scotia. Nice. Yeah, they're doing a little bit of that now. Not nothing too crazy yet, but they're getting there. Crystal sugar. I've never been to this part of the map. And it's definitely showing. Uh, is there anything else interesting up there? Mordened area. Well, I guess I could go all the way up to the top here. Because I know I've been there before. Go and connect up with this main road up here. Basically what we're doing is we're offering more our auto driver more ways of getting around. Basically. That's the idea at least. In hopes that by doing so the driver won't get stuck somewhere. Alright. I think this is the road. Yes, it is. So let's come up here and connect with No, 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 no. That would do. Shoot, <laughs> wrong button. Perfect. And then, do this. Pick up from one of these points here, let's say this one. Head straight down back where we came from. Oh, this is field three and nine. Contract in this field's finished. I can dig it. Field 17. Why, yes, I will take that. Now, let's see. Oh, I do have one. Let's see how this turns out. No idea where the nearest. Uh, let's just go ahead and save, just, just to be on the safe side. What sort of fish would you be getting then? Uh, I was able to see. Driver can't reach F17. Uh. I was able to see like some largemouth bass. That's some nice pike. But I did not successfully catch any. Where is it going? Over here? So this is part of the course we made. Don't know which direction it's going. Oh, I got stuck. <laughs> Here, try this. There, that'll probably work a bit better for it. Because <laughs> field 17 is not very far. So it'll be curious to see which way it goes. So here's the course. Here's the course. This is where it is. So if it goes up here and turns to the left, it'll be going the right way. Yep, there he goes. Or not. Or did I put a 17 up here? I don't know. It'll get there eventually. That's part of the funny thing. That's the nice thing. Like, I don't have to court record. So, like, it's. Probably one of the reason why it's doing it this way because I can only get there from one side. I'm fairly certain of that. So, oh, and he's finished. Perfect. Look at that timing. Uh, 
Okay, so he's finished as well. Close that up. So they are both finished. This is excellent. And <laughs> my gigantic wall. Definitely have to try and do something with that. Good. Okay, so I think what we'll do is I'll let this guy, because I accepted that contract, so it's going to go there and figure out how to get there. So it's turning around, actually. I don't know why it's turning around, but it is. Must just be the way because it's on the one side, not the other side. But that's the thing I really like about auto drive is it'll figure out its own way to get there. Okay, I think it's about time to progress to the next day. Speed up time here a little bit. Let's turn off our truck in the middle of nowhere. Or I guess we could continue on our drive down here at least. And then when the time comes, we'll switch out. All right, back down here. Bring up our map again. Woo! It's not too squirrely here. Good. All the way up here. Okay, field. Let's do. Let's. I think we're going to go down here first. And then connect back up with that. I think that was the intention at least. Uh, here's a road coming up down here, I believe. I'll just connect up with this. Good, so now we can connect back up with that. Sweet. Lord, what's up? Yeah, well, there was pike and bass there, so it was funny because I could see it because it was like crystal clear water, but I couldn't didn't catch any, so. Alright, so coming up here. Field six. Maybe what we'll do is just connect this up. Ooh, that's a big dip. Maybe we won't do that. We'll do one of these. We'll call this F6 slash eight. And then connect it back up here. Oh, that's perfect. No, I want there, that connection. Okay, cool. All right, it's getting dark out. Wow, that's all the lights this has. It's terrible. Let's reconfigure here quickly. And we'll send this back to the main farm here. I think you can just do this way too. Main farm. It'll figure its way around. Uh, but let's save the game. Head here, sleep for 
10 hours, I guess, is what we can sleep for. Had what's up? Ten o'clock. Great demand for Quaker at uh, Quaker Oats, for oats probably. All right. Let's see what we got here. Well, there's some weeds apparently in field thirty-three. That's not good. Zero percent done there. How's our cows doing? They need some straw. And our other cows are doing even worse. Great. Where did our new Holland go? Did I return it to the store? I must have. Oh well. Things haven't quite matured yet. So here's our corn right here. Growing, fertilized. He's still heading back, see? That's the thing that's cool about this. It'll just find its way there. And this guy's... <laughs> he went the most ridiculous way, I'm sure, but he's getting there, so... What am I doing? I am currently... going to feed the animals. I think... Let's get another tractor, I think. Uh, let's see... Maybe get a large. I don't think I have a US version of that one. 8R. I need a tract combine or a tract tractor. 8RT, 8R, 7R. Design. Oh, I see. No terminal with terminal. Twin wheels, rear twins, wheel weights. Oh, I don't want the, uh... I don't want the front three-point hitch. Hmm. I thought I had a different version. Maybe I don't. Because this is going to be just too big for what I want to use it for. Maybe we'll check out the medium tractors then. What do we have in the medium mod tractors? 240 horsepower. Six R's. This could do a 6M. But we need actually, now I think we actually need something with a front three point hitch. Because we are using our that blade. Okay. So maybe we'll do a six hour this time. Wheel setup. Let's do just wheel weights. Let's go for the biggest engine, because why not? Front fender. For a front loader. Uh, let's say no. GPS. Let's say yes. Actually, do I have any? No, I don't have any modern versions of this. Yes. Wheel weights, 6250. Front loader, no. Per day is $2,000. All the remotes in the back of this thing. Holy macaroni. Four remotes. Uh, what is the mod the tractor is driving? Is What is the mod that the tractor is driving is safe? Uh, let's go ahead and per, not purchase, lease this guy here. I don't know where this tractor got off to. Oh, look at that, it's right there. Perfect. Uh, 
We actually have one of these at work. Not this one specifically, mind you, but this is a newer model. These came out. With, this one's been around in Europe for a, a number of years, but in um, but in Canada it hasn't been around very long. But it is now available. Let's do this. Turn the lines off. Oh, my straw just disappeared. Of course it would disappear. Why wouldn't it? Well, look at that air ride seat. Got all the fancy stuff in this tractor. Okay, let's give him some TMR. What is the mod? I think you're thinking of auto drive. Is the one I think you are curious about. Some TMR in the cows here. Is this an IVT transmission? Let's see here. Yeah, it's even got that uh, that joystick right there that allows you to uh, that allows you to. Oh, there's a shuttle shift right there. Maybe it's not IVT then. Power reverser. Hmm. Oh, that's such a <laughs> Okay, let's clean up their pen right here. Whoa, what am I getting stuck on here? There we go. Give him some TMR. Good. Uh, where is our? He's heading back to the main farm. He got there eventually, and he's here. Okay, so this is field seventeen. Is the one we're looking for, I believe. Yes. So I don't think we have one for seven. Oh no, we do. Look at that. The first waypoint is, but it's probably not in this corner. Oh, well, it's actually not too far. Ah, uh, first waypoint. Engage. Okay, perfect. Back to here. Let's clean up this silage here that they've left. Put it with our silage bunch right there. There we go. <laughs> I'm gonna have to smooth that out. That's ridiculous. Let's do it right now before I forget about it again. Uh, landscaping. We want this over here. We want to smooth that out. There we go. Smooth that out. Smooth, smooth. Uh, that's fine. That's okay. And there's another. Well, this right here. Here it is. Let's smooth it out over here. And let's come over here and just give it a nice little smooth. There we go. That should make our lives a little bit easier now. Good. And then let's do and smooth this extra section at the end here too. I drove right off the edge last time. Didn't even think about it. There. That should make our lives a little bit easier now. And then smooth that out there. There. 
there. So if we drive around the edge here, at least it won't be so bad. Okay, perfect. All right, let's give our beef cows a little bit of TMR here. We just can't smooth out that one corner, but at least we can get up here now without falling off. Uh, let's change directions. Is that all they needed, really? Yep, apparently. All right. Bring this over here and drop that off. Let's go ahead and pick up Silver News. What's up? Heard you got some early access there. Well, I think it was early access. I didn't watch the whole video. It was on Instagram. I saw it briefly there. Was that works? I didn't want to get in trouble. There we go. And where's our telehandler? Down there. Six one six two fifty R. Don't have one of these at work. And let's buy a couple bales of straw. Let's go for, I don't know, four. Let's grab this guy here. Yeah, quite a few did. I'm not surprised. They, they do not quite often, so. I mean, it's tomorrow anyway, so. All right. Let's grab the first top two bales here. Question, what would you like to see in FS21? Whew. That's a good question, actually. Perhaps the integration of seasons would be interesting to see. Um, or at least aspects of it would be good to see. Serious Gamer, what's up? Uh, that's definitely something I'd like to see. Um, crop rotations would be neat to see. Uh, what else? It also would be nice to see in FS19. Perhaps the inclusion of more, more of the range of what uh, uh, the brands in the game already have. For example, like John Deere has a whole bunch of stuff. So does, uh, so does Fent, so does Class. So seeing a, a wider variety of the equipment in there would be kind of interesting as well. But in terms of like gameplay changes, they've actually done a pretty good job so far. Um, let's see here. What could, they, what could they do to make it more interesting? Hmm. Yeah, I don't feel like the inclusion of seasons and like GPS as a standard thing would be interesting. Yield monitoring would be kind of cool to see as well. Variable seeding, variable fertilizing, stuff like that. Although I don't think that'd be too much. I think for a lot of uh, a lot of people, I would suspect. Uh, natural disasters. An actual gearbox, they do, yeah, that would be interesting to see for sure. I think the hard part is like, you have to kind of, you have to kind of like have like a, a blend of like arcade stuff and like simulation stuff. It can't be all one or all the other, right? It's gonna be a bit of a blend of both. Oh, I'm so happy I leveled this out. Makes doing this so much easier. Whoa, 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 whoa. I actually drove a title handler not too long ago.
Bam. Yeah, but they'd have to have like a, depending on what they did, they would have to have a blend of, uh, of things. Now, let's check the water on here. 27,000 liters of water. It's a silly amount of water. Uh, I'm just going to check here. Uh, farming mods. We're going to look for category. I guess it would be objects. Let's just see. Oh, there's another new water tower. Nice. Swimming pool? No. <laughs> We are looking for that little water pump thing to see if it, I'm sure it came from the mod hub. American fire hydrant, no. Cows husbandry, placeable storage. Pig food system, new water fountain. Water pipe. Ooh, what's that? Edge grain silos. Uh, where is it here? Small BGA fertilizer tanks, solar power plants. Garden gnomes, no. Farm silo, windmill, cucumbers, bulk space, pond, heating plant, lime station. Fuel tanks. Nope, nope, nope. Placeables. Where the heck would it be? Let's just search all the mods. I'm trying to find it in the uh, mod hub if you're wondering to see if it will come up with something. Water trigger decoration. Do I not have it in here? Where would I have found it from? Hmm. Just a water tank, no. Water wind turbine, no. Where on earth would it be? It's not a water fountain. Water trigger decoration. No idea. Oh well. Oh well. Which mod? Ah, uh, this guy right here. Just trying to figure out if that's the one I think it is, if it's another one. But yeah, yeah. With IC control, um, there, I don't think this one doesn't have a no. There are a couple with a little bit, but not as much as they used to be. I'm just trying to figure out whether that mod is just a, uh, if it will just, like it'll not just kind of keep the water topped up a little bit. I guess this is where I would drop the straw off. It is indeed. Yeah, didn't think they would take much. Looks worse now, though. Yuck. Okay. Good. Got a little bit of straw. This is good. Though they have a little bit of grass, apparently. And they need some water too. Let's grab the truck here. Oh, you are back at the main farm. Excellent. That's where I'd hoping it would be. And let's grab the trailer and just... Top up the water here. 
<clears throat> one thing I, I am kind of curious about is what is the, I don't know, what do we need to, what, so for the global company mod, what needs to be done, I guess, is what I'm trying to think about for the map to be kind of global company mod ready, or the map, I should say. Uh, I guess we could put the water tower there. Let's see what we have here. Because I don't know what that mod actually does. It just says water pump. That's all it says. Doesn't give me anything else. It's a lizard water pump. So I don't know if... I don't know if it uh, just automatically fills the water or if that's just an emergency water supply. Don't know. I think this costs you money when you use the water on here though. Could it be from the animal pen extension? But I, cu I couldn't enable that one because uh, I don't have the global company. I couldn't, uh, can't have the global company mod in here on this map for some reason. I can't remember if water costs anything from this or not. <laughs> That's terrible. Let's put a floodlight right over here. Out of the way. <clears throat> and... Because the problem we ran into with this one right here was that the pipe was actually too low to the ground with this gigantic trailer. So let's put the put the water tower because it comes down here. I guess that'll work actually. Put it right in the corner up here a little bit out of the way. No, it doesn't cost money. I couldn't remember. <laughs> couldn't remember. No, this one's still running. It's funny, sometimes they'll turn off the way they're supposed to, and other times they won't turn off at all. Let's move this little water. Jerry can out of the way. Oh, well, it's not a jerry can, it's a... Uh, trailer all right oh that will mess up the uh, yes it will quite a lot it's still filling up all right There we go. Let's drop off some water here. And how much milk do we have here? Oh, 7,000 liters, that's, that's enough. Mm. They need some water too. see here oh that's the water there right it is closer than I remembered it being I'm gonna try and just leave that water there and see if they actually run out of water but let's buy some more cows though for this pen right here. We want some more limousines. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Sure. 
that works. <laughs> that means they made a lot more DMR now. <laughs> yes, sir. And water. All right. Almost. All right. So let's try this here. stops but we'll find out It'd be great if I could and then come up here same thing over here. I don't I can't remember if I needed to do put the waypoints in there or not now. Let's see, liquid transport. There are too many waypoints. Oh no. <clears throat> Let's see, you're gonna fill up. No, didn't think so. But it's doable. Well, it's good to know. start from this side right here go there and then go here and then here Let's see if this works This is the kind of stuff I like doing. It's kind of figuring out what's going to work the way I want it to. It's fun tinkering with these kind of things, which is why I think I think which is why I think I like the uh, auto drive mod cuts. Also like that, where you kind of like you know sorting things out. Really. Oh. Uh, What is it here? Uh, I am looking for... That always helps when you set it to pick up water, not milk. There. Take two. And that should work. I suspect, at least. Uh, 
How far along is he on that mission? 26%. This is good. Good. Survey says, is he going to pick up some water? I think they both need water anyways. Yes, they do. Yeah, there we go. This is good. Okay, let's grab. Give them some more straw. Uh, it's just the just the feedlot that needs some more straw here. Can do. So we're gonna take this and another one now. didn't know water was so expensive. It's not the water that's expensive. I have a another guy who's spraying fertilizer that's expensive. And then continue refill until that. Drive on at 100%. Ah, it's the other way around. I wondered. Okay. See, this is the guy that's costing me so much money right now. No more capacity for straw? Okay. Uh, take three. Yeah, exactly. All right. Well, to get it right, it's nice. Oh, let's check to see what he's doing here. Not doing anything. The funny thing is, I know it works because I had it done before. <laughs> Because I had it working before. Alright. Give them some more TMR. That's all they needed, really? Okay. are both good now. Wasn't there a new sort of unloading option in Chris Play? so okay let's 
going to bug the crap out of me now. So... It refilled with a with a waypoint here, but it should be able to detect this unloading spot here. Let's try it this way then. Oops. Set weight point, set on load point, crossing point, turnover point, start reversing procedure, pause, delete, delete, unpause. I'll figure it out eventually. That's a for set on load point. I don't know if you need we need to do that in this scenario. I'll make a try, but it should just drive past the main thing there, and then stop at that. But maybe because it was two waypoints, I don't know. It shouldn't make a difference. Survey says, dun 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 dun. <laughs> Probably not in the right spot. Maybe it'll do in this one. So I didn't even stop there. <sighs> Who knows? Let's see, let's see. Okay. That should be good for Picking up. Let's see if we can get it to pick up here. Okay. wide right turn here yeah the one for the right the tipping is like for for could it be that you're driving in the wrong mode mm, possibly I suppose well, this is definitely the liquid transport one that we're looking for so perhaps it's because there's two points I don't know It's funny, I'm trying to think how I had it set up last time. I think it's just the detection. That's causing the issue at least. How far along are you here? 40%, excellent. Let's see, are you gonna do it or not? Oh, there, did a little bit there. A 
that's all I needed. That's why it was just a little bit. So that one worked. Let's see if this one works here. <laughs> just drove right past that one. That's hilarious. Maybe it's only going to handle the one. Wonder why I did, drove past the second one then, but stopped with the first one and filled it up. That's bizarre. Wonder if I created. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense why you'd need two separate ones, but. Guess I just wasn't being careful enough with the. Uh, with the uh, stopping, but. It seems bizarre that you'd have to go do it like that. Yeah, loading. Yeah, it has that right too now. That's good. Yeah, that's weird. And it just doesn't recognize this point at all. Maybe it'll stop this time, I don't know. Yeah, it just drives right past that one. <laughs> yeah. My only conclusion is that it just doesn't recognize that it's the way like yeah, like I could be right here and also doesn't make any sense. Because it's it was like where it stopped was like the right place to stop. Because it is literally like right here. I mean, you could do two separate ones, but that's such a pain. Oh well, they're both watered now. And it can refill now too. Course play can do weirdest things. If you leave it alone for a second, it's playing, planting on a field. It'll come back a couple minutes later, and it'll be two fields away. Yeah, like it did what I wanted to do. I just thought you could do. I think it's because it was. I don't know, but it should. It recognized the first waypoint, but not the second one. So, I don't know. We'll call it water. Milk cows. I don't know for now. Just so I have it, so I have to re-record it again. Good. Cows are good. So apparently our. Beef cows need some grass. It's funny. If we go to our numbers and see property income, contracts right there, or no, yeah, that's sold milk, I should say, sorry. And then contract income, but our net. We're still net neg negative that day because the fertilizer costs, but we still made you know, double what it cost for that. It was the other things that cost us a bunch. Probably mostly the uh, vehicle leasing. Eek. Yeah, that'll do it. And the construction costs. Yeah, it never helps. When we finish this contract, we'll make a good chunk of change too as well so cool just a waiting game now the next thing I think we should do though is we should definitely do I think it's in silos I want to say it is is Z that only takes bulk though I keep forgetting it takes bulk only Ugh. not bales you look for another mix station that uses bales big silo dash east I don't know, silo. standard fruit and so it takes all your feed for your animals if you want to just mix up a bunch of feed so nice right, folks i'm gonna call it there for the time being 
looks like we're kind of got to wait on some things to get finished again so that'll be it for me for today folks i hope you all enjoyed i always like playing this game always something to do that's for sure so until next time folks my name is Eraplin. if you like what you saw why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button for some more fs19 i'll catch you guys later